Hi everybody, my name's Gemma and welcome to my channel. Um, thanks very much for clicking on this video. This is going to be a Primark video or a Primark haul. I have a small little selection of Primark Beauty which I'm going to test out today for you all to see how it fares. It is actually, let me just see, it's inspired by K-pop um, which is sort of like a Japanese pop culture pop music, um, it's really bright colours, really fun um, and Primark have done a whole new beauty range inspired by K-pop it's actually called, and the range is actually called K-pop um, I'll show you some of the little bits that I picked up I didn't buy the whole collection obviously I don't know how good quality recently I had a good experience with the Primark £5 foundation I thought it was pretty good, damn good for £5 um, some of the other things I've had have been like a bit of rubbish really um, but we'll see how this goes so I have a few items I've got um, a blush and highlight palette called Sweet Cheeks I've got a super cheeky lip tint, oh cheek tint, cheeks, that, I thought that was for lips but it's actually for cheeks what else did I get, I got uh, one of these eye masks, I've never tried one of these out before so I'm quite excited to try one of those uh, what's this thing, K-pop pillow talk matte lip cushion with vitamin E I sort of got a selection, all of these things that I bought came in like all different shades but I just sort of got a variety of selection of shades to show you guys uh, oh this one's cute, <laughs> it looks rather odd it's a Jelly Belly Jelly Lipstick and that is really cool packaging I think what drew me to this stuff is I love the packaging of it I like anything unusual this I'm excited to use, it's called a Bubble Blush K-Pop Bubble Blush cushion blusher um, it says applicator is included and it's in pastel pink you could get like a peachy orange shade of this as well I chose the pink one I thought it might suit me better and I thought the colour might be a bit more successful there are all the items that I bought super excited to try them out because they really do look good quality so let's take a look at each item in detail and we'll see how they hold up I thought we'd look at this first because this is pro was this the most expensive item? Uh, no, this wasn't the most expensive item. Uh, this was four pounds though, which is quite expensive for a Primark brush, I will say. Um, bubble blush, it's called, and it's a cushion blusher in pastel pink. It's all sealed up. I've not tried it before, so these are a hundred percent first impressions. Uh, oh, it's such a cute packaging there. Can see that um, it feels really nice it feels uh, you know like a sort of expensive brand wow you get a good mirror in there and then you also get like a cushioned applicator now if I'm right this is one of those uh, oh, what are they called you know like the spongy cushion foundations that all arrange in Japan apparently they're a big staple in Japanese beauty um, and I know that some of the, um, I'm sure Lancome and then L'Oreal, they actually had some of these cushion foundations out sometime last year and they had a bronzer as well. I was always intrigued by them, but I never actually tried them. Now this has like a plastic seal on it, which pops, pops up. Wow, that looks super interesting. Look at that, it's like literally like a sponge and it is a sponge wow I've never tried anything like this before I'm not sure like how you're supposed to apply it just because it's got one of these things that you peel up Telling you to push there. I wonder what for. Push. I think you push down at the bottom to get more product out. If you can see there, it says push. 
Well, that's really weird. And then this must be what you apply it with. I'm just going to try it with this. Press that in. I better use a mirror. Luckily, this is quite a nice mirror on it. I don't... I'm just sort of dabbing that on. Can you see the pink at all? I can. It's re it's it's sort of really quite subtle. I'm just going to push that into the sponge again. Oh, sugar! This time I pushed it right in, and I got like absolutely loads of the product on it. I don't think. Oh my god! So look at all that that I've got on my face. A little bit more there. It's hard to sort of put blush where you normally would with like a... Oh my god, I spotted it down here. I wonder... <laughs> I'm just going to blend this a bit with my fingers. It's quite pretty really um i just don't know if i've applied it really that well obviously with me not knowing how to apply these cushion blushes so i just googled onto um like a japanese site and it does tell you to apply with the sponge and then blend out with your fingers which is what I did. They recommend these sorts of blushes for people that are fairly new to blushes because they apply like more of a sheer look rather than the heavy hand of the brush. So yeah, that's quite nice. We'll see how it fares. Which is this one is in like um, a tube. Show it to you there. It's called Super Cheek. That's, yeah, so it's called Super Cheek and it's in the colour Bubblegum. And this just, oh, it just pulls apart. Oh, it's sponge as well. Wow, I think this one actually looks better. This was £2.50. Um, and so it's cheaper than the other one. And it, so this bit is like just, can you see it's like a sponge. It's like literally pushes in. The product obviously squeezes up like so. And there you go, I've got a big glob of product again. So I'm going to use this mirror again. I don't know where I can apply this. I can sort of dab it on. Whoa. This is very bubblegum pink. Um, this is much brighter. I will say your hair gets stuck in this. Wow. This is, I don't know if it picks up on camera, but it's way bright. It's like that sort of, it reminds me of Dolly Mixture from MAC. The sort of blush that everyone was wearing in like 2008 has reappeared back here. But it does blend in really well, I will say that. And it does give sort of like a natural flush to the cheeks rather than like a powdery extreme one. It's a bit, to be fair... It's sort of like, um, what, liquid blusher really. I do like that the way that is. You seem to get a lot of product in there as well. I mean, I don't know how much product you get in this one. Does it say? It doesn't say on it. This one, it's the bubblegum pink. This one you get, oh, 23 mils in this one. Whereas this one's in grams. So this one's only, this is 10 grams. This one's in mils. So I don't know which one you would get more in. Um, either the pastel pink or the bubblegum pink. So I swatch those two on the back of my hand. Obviously, um, this one is the one from the round circle, the pastel pink, and then this is the bubblegum pink, 
and that will sheer out but of course the bubble become pink is a lot more pinky than that pastel pink but i do like them and i think i would with these ones being only two pound fifty i might pick up some other shades if they still have them in in my primark the next exciting thing that i have is this k-pop sweet cheeks palette and this was five pound for the whole palette which is super cheap really for a whole makeup palette I think you get like four blushes in it. Oops, yeah. Oh, they're really cute. It says on the inside, sweet, sweet as sugar. And then, oh, they are so cute. Look at those. And um, they have the names Candy Floss, Lemon Sherbet, and bom Jelly Bean, and Bomb Bomb. And inside the little hearts, they have like little, fa little like character faces on them. So there they are, close up. They are so cute. I just like the packaging more than anything, which is probably a bad reason to buy things, but hey ho, it really reminds me of like Too Faced or something like that. Um, so it doesn't say much about the product, it just says blusher, uh, and that's it really. This is not a food, uh, but it is a blush and highlight. Swatch one. Candy Floss and Bom Bom, probably you would say are blushes. And then the Jelly Bean and the Lemon Sherbet is a highlight. So I don't know how much more blush I can fit on my face, but these are powder ones. Uh, so we'll be able to see a powder effect over there. Just got some brushes to try these out. There's no mirror on this, which is a bit disappointing. We'll try some of the highlighter first. We'll try the Jelly Bean. It's got sort of a scent, perfumey scent to it. Wow. I don't know if you can see that, but that is like quite a highlighter. I've never tried a lilac highlighter before, and I actually quite like that one. Um, we'll try. I don't think I would put that on my nose area or anywhere like that. So I will try the lemon sherbet one. Show a bit one. Try not to get any of the face pattern. I'll just try it on my nose. Doing that in the viewfinder, so God knows what. I'm not much of a fan of that one. It's a bit too golden for my liking, and I have a lot of other blushes in that colour, but I do like the purple one. We'll try Candy Floss blush. We might be able to sort of. Wow, a lot comes up on the blur, the brush. Put that on, it's quite shimmery. Obviously I can't tell too much because of the blusher that I already have on. But they're okay. I don't like that gold highlight on my nose at all. I'll try a bit of the Bomb Bomb one on. Again, it picks up a lot of product on your brush. pink on there and again that's a lot of pink they're super cute though and for five pounds i think for younger people i think that's a really nice thing and a lovely present or gift to buy for somebody what do i have All right i have this left to try as well it's a lip well it's called pillow talk matte lip matte lip cushion so i'm guessing it's going to be a bit like the blushes but in matte lipstick form so there it is, cute packaging, it looks like it, what colour is it in? Uh, it doesn't say colour, oh it does on the bottom, honey bun, <laughs> comes through like that. Actually quite weird but quite nice, it's got a nice smell to it and a nice I really like that colour, it's really nice, it's quite easy to apply, it's got quite a balmy feel to it. Um, would you say it was matte? Sort of um, satin sort of finish isn't it? I'll just show you that makeup up close, see look how pink it is. But I like that lipstick, that's in 
honey buns. I've just taken that lipstick off just to show you this um, Jelly Bell or Jelly Belly jelly lipstick and it just comes apart like a normal lipstick and then it has a normal bullet shape like that. I didn't really know what to expect with this one. Just put that on and it's like a nice coral sort of red colour. I like that as well. I don't know why it's jelly. It sort of feel it doesn't feel sticky, it so again feels like a lip balm. So yeah, I really like that. I've just thrown it. So I really like that as well. I might pick up a few more of those because they're quite nice. That was £1.50, that's all. £1.50 for a lipstick. That is that is a bargain, isn't it? I would actually pick up some more of those. And um, the last thing that I got was this gel eye mask. Um, I think, are these the sort of ones that you put in the fridge? I think you put these in the fridge. Comes off there. I think you put them in the fridge and then you put them on your eyes like that. So that is that was only £1.50. It doesn't have any instructions with it. I just looked it up on the internet and it actually says that you put them in the fridge an hour before you're going to use them and then you pop them on. So I'll be looking forward to trying that. I hope you like this small mini haul of all the K-pop things from Primark. I'll see you again for the next video. Thanks so much for watching and excuse me looking like Aunt Sally. Bye!